What page are we on, please? Or... OK, so we move to the final item of the uh, agenda, which is the acknowledgement of retiring members. Um, just before I go to that, um, I'd just like to acknowledge um, the work of the um, Future Proof staff um, and previously at, um, Peter Winder had been in the implementation advisor role. Um, so really like to acknowledge um, the work that he had done. Um, I think if he had to leave, um, the timing probably wasn't too bad because we had got through the future proof strategy review and that had gone out to the partner council. But all that happened quite quickly and then um, equally quickly in terms of um, Robert agreeing to come on as an um, interim advisor. Um, and, and certainly also, Lyndall, in terms of um, your never-ending challenge of lining everyone up and, and um, working through all the things that you need to do, and also the contributions from uh, over the last three years um, of all of the partner staff, both from the councils and from the um, other partners and agency who make up agencies who make up the, the future proof arrangement. And, and certainly acknowledging, particularly in the latter part of the triennium, that milestone of, of completing the future proof review. And I know Alan was very keen that that was completed um, along with others in, in, in this triennium. And I'm also just picking up in terms of the PDA tracker that also move in terms of doing the, the this having the strategy in place. There's work now on the FDS, there's been the approval of the business case, and then that moving more into implementation and monitoring. So that's obviously going to be a key um, key role um, in the next triennium. But really just um, a, a shout out for all those who have been involved in that work across the partnership. I'd also like to um, offer my best wishes for those who have thrown the hat in the ring again for the pending October elections and best wishes to you all in terms of um, that process. And hopefully, um, from your point of view, um, a good outcome. I would like to now move to acknowledge um, some of those members who won't be joining us um, knowingly um, post <laughs> post October. <laughs> and um, so I'd, I'd certainly I'd like to acknowledge three around the table. And I suppose for me, a consistent theme in terms of those three people has been their long period of service in local government. Um, and, 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 and probably, for all of them, and whether it's been in local government or central government, well over 20 years. So I really wanted to, to acknowledge um, all, of, all of that collectively um, um, first. In terms of the, um, the, the people themselves, um, I'll, 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 I'll pick on Mayor Allen first <laughs> in, in, in terms of that acknowledgement. And, um, Alan's been involved in local government for um, 21 years, and he started off, I think he had nine years as a councillor, and then the last 12 as, as mayor. And I think he's the third mayor for Waikato um, District since its formation since the 1989 reforms. Um, in comparison to some other councils, particularly in my neck of the woods, um, we probably rate six or seven. So, um, so obviously there's been a, you know, it's um, quite consistent in terms of the representation. So I wanted to acknowledge that and, and certainly understand he'd been shoulder tapped by the pre previous Mayor, Peter Harris, um, initially as a, a councillor, and then he succeeded Peter um, as Mayor. I also understand, Alan, that, um, and it's interesting how things move on as part of the journey, that planning was something that when you started and um, you probably shunned it or, or perhaps didn't realise the significance of it um, in, in, in terms of local government. Um, but I, I certainly, um, from my perspective, um, and you and I have been involved in Future Proof for a, a long time, 
is um, the, how you see it significant in terms of joining up the land use, the infrastructure, and we've touched, well, we've more than touched on it today because a number of members have raised it, and that's all very fine, but the funding is the critical issue, and you've been, along with others and your colleagues, um, focused clearly um, on, on that. And you can have all the greatest plans and strategies in the world, but they don't count for much unless there's the means to actually implement them. As I noted, you've been part of the Future Proof Furniture since its establishment, and you're the last remaining member of the um, initial establishment um, committee, which I think goes back to about 2008 or 2009. <laughs> so, um, and prior to that, you had provided input because Ken Tremaine and I had been engaged to actually develop the scoping report in, 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 in terms of actually having a, a, a future-proof arrangement. And it's interesting because that report recommended establishing the partnership, but it also had some, and this is going back in time, significant influence of the then Transit New Zealand who um, were not keen on any further funding for the expressway unless there was an agreed growth management strategy across the partnership. Um, so um, that commitment was made and then the, the, the rest is history. It, it, it took some while before it was completed and I know the expressway has been a passion of yours um, and you were able to speak at the opening. Um, uh, um, a wee while, well, not a wee while ago, it's a short time ago. So um, another significant milestone in terms of completing your term. The other thing that I've certainly enjoyed, you've had that forthright style. We had some very interesting discussions during the formative years <laughs> in terms of partners um, around the table. And Doug Arcus had been the joint committee chair in the development phase of the strategy. And, um, and, and, and Doug acted as a... Um, outside of this type of forum um, as mediator and working through um, um, those types of um, um, matters. But we got through all that. But what I think it shows um, is that there's been a an involvement, for want of a better word, a maturing of the partnership as that trust and confidence has developed over that period um, of time and, and working with other, another, one another. So, and also I'd like to acknowledge um, if there was anything that um, you felt might have been going off the rails or you wanted something more information on, you didn't hesitate to contact me and we could have those discussions prior, prior, prior to a meeting. So that was really appreciated. So best wishes and um, you'll be able to look on from the sideline in terms of um, what's happening given your significant contribution over the last a um, couple of decades. So thank you for that. <coughs> what I'm going to do, I've got two more acknowledgements and then I'm going to provide an opportunity for each of you then to um, make um, some comment. Well, I've actually got four, um, four because I, I need to acknowledge um, Deputy Mayor Bill Cashmore. So, okay, so Dave. <laughs> Um, and you've been around, again, this table for some time, but more so you've been around the Hamilton City table, I think, for 24 years or eight terms. So, um, and I think you've chaired the whole range of committees that the um, that Hamilton City have had, and, and certainly you've been very passionate and you've brought it to this table about growth planning, that boundaryless approach um, from that metro perspective the future growth potential of the sub-region and delivering that integrated communities and well-connected walking, cycling and PT solutions. And I've seen evidence of that um, in the media over the years and also the nature of the contribution that you've brought to, to this table. And, um, and that passion was carried right on to today, but also through the hearings and decision-making process in terms of terms of matters that you raised. Um, you've been involved in securing some of the large capital investments um, and advocating with ministers, governments, and you took the opportunity again today um, um, in, in terms of the expressway, the um, HIF funding, PT investment, 
NZTA funding, and you've never um, hesitated to talk to your colleague on the left <laughs> in terms of <laughs> in terms of those matters. And uh, and be fair to say, you don't take a government no as the answer. So in terms of being on the case over a, over a period of um, in time. And also understand, and, and I've seen it around this table, in terms of your memory and being able to go back in terms of what some of the previous decisions and directions have, have been made. Um, and one of the, the notes I got from, and this person remains nameless, in terms of you never losing an argument, um, in terms of, and good luck to those who try. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, really acknowledging that, that political role, that um, dealmaker role, and really that fearless and determined um, approach. And, and really finally, in terms of, and you did this, um, when we were um, deliberating on the um, future submissions, future proof submissions, no hesitation in challenging the data, and, um, and that the policy people are grounded in, in, in reality. Um, and a good example of that's the population projections. Um, so um, you, you've, you've carried on that clearly, and certainly that resulted in some resolutions that we made in terms of going forward. So um, at the end of the day, they are a guide, they're not the tablet of stone. So best wishes, Dave, for you, and for your move, um, you and your wife, in terms of your, your move to the southern climates might not be as warm as it is up here, but we are acknowledging that contribution around this table. So thank you. Martin, <clears throat> you've been uh, an alternate for uh, a period of time. <laughs> um, you come and you participate and then you disappear from around the table and back again. <laughs> but I would like to acknowledge that even when you weren't undertaking the role as alternate in terms of your interest and commitment and actually um, coming to a number of meetings and hearings and keeping up to speed um, with some of those future-proof discussions. You've served the, the community for many decades and I understand you were on council and I think you were deputy mayor at one stage, then you went to Wellington and spent um, a number of terms there. And, and as Hamilton West MP, and then you, you've you come back around the council table in recent times. I understand you've also been the highest polling council candidate on more than one election. Um, and again, um, that true community advocate and voice for the, for the average person, and you've also been a supporter for looking at issues from a, a boundaryless um, um, perspective and solutions. And um, as part of that, a passionate advocate of the Golden Triangle. I also understand you were one of the original champions of the Wairiri Drive Ring Road um, and an early supporter of the um, expressway. I, I, I have to note that um, when I and my colleagues from Tauranga came across as commissioners earlier on the year, um, they were most impressed in the early planning um, that Hamilton City had done over a long period of time to actually secure some of those um, key arterial um, routes. I also understand you have been jokingly referred to as the Hamilton member for Tamahiri and Martini. <laughs> <laughs> Given the passion to have that suburb recognised as part of the city. So <laughs> yeah. And, and the other, th this is... Um, I'm only the messenger on this one, um, sometimes still thinks he's in Parliament, the parliamentary speaking chamber with a booming voice and long-winded speeches. <laughs> Anonymous. <laughs> um, but really just um, acknowledging that and also your acknowledging your failure, well, no, not your failure, but what you saw as the failure of the 1989 council boundary decisions um, in, in terms of the inadequate size of the, of the city. But really in conclusion, always seeking some good outcomes. Again, that neighbourhood connectedness and certainly been a strong supporter of working in partnership and the, the, the future 
future-proof direction. And best wishes for the future, and thanks, uh, Martin. The other... Um, now, and I understand, um, Bill Cashmore, that um, you're also retiring this election. Riding off into the sunset, Mr. Chair, yes. <laughs> I, uh, and so I, I also take the opportunity to um, um, thank you in terms of being part of this partnership, being around the table, and certainly understand the, the long um, relationship and um, positive way that both you and Mayor Allen have um, worked together over a long period of time. Um, in terms of those northern Waikato and Auckland um, issues and matters. And, and so I'd really take the opportunity in acknowledging your um, long service to Auckland Council, but from our point of view, that your willingness to engage and, and, and certainly um, provide input and work in that partnership role. So. Best wishes for your ride into the sunset, <laughs> um, um, into the future. So, thank you. And we welcomed Ash here today. <laughs> and also we're saying goodbye because you won't be around this table. So, um, but I do want to acknowledge in terms of Matamata Piako um, Council um, coming back into the partnership. It was part of the partnership way back when we were in the strategy development um, and, and certainly the keenness for the partners around this table and obviously for your council to actually rejoin and, um, and, and look ahead, given all the growth issues, the transport issues, et cetera, that the subregions facing. So um, I'm not sure what you're going to do after, after the, the council, but um, best wishes, Ash. <laughs> oh, okay. No, well, all the best, and and thanks, Neil. You've been well. Meta Meta Piaco joined well, end of last year, so but yeah, all the best for the future. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we actually gave some money back when you um, left all that time ago. <laughs> So, no, no, thanks very much. <laughs> so, those are all my acknowledgements and thank you. So, I'm more than happy to, to allow for all of you to make any comments. Alan. Uh, yeah, thanks, Bill. Um, and I'm damn sure we've still got that 50k more. <laughs> <laughs> I think you couldn't get out the door fast enough. He's only left his money purse behind. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, um, I find it interesting here today because Ash has come back in um, from Matamata Piaco. And when I reflect um, on the journey of Future Proof, which is, it was launched in October 2009, um, and Hugh was at the table then. And as I said, um, after about five or six months, uh, Hugh decided it wasn't for Matamata Piaco and, and he left. And actually have Madame Madame Piaco back here again, I think is is very, very important. And, and it was always acknowledged that there would be a time for it to come back when it best fitted uh, for their outcome. So uh, for that. Uh, to Bill, yeah, look, it's been great working with Bill. Bill and I are probably, in our hearts, we're still a couple of rough diamonds, I suppose. Still like a bit of farming, a bit of machinery driving and all those sorts of things. And um, it's been great um, working with Bill. Uh, because he's somebody I can just ring up and get an honest opinion. Hughes um, of French, no bullshit. Uh, get straight down to points. Um, Martin, Martin, yeah, look, it's been marvellous knowing Martin. It's um, and he's always been trying to get Tim here in Martin. I just won't <laughs> give it up. Uh, <laughs> but I've always admired him for his honesty, his integrity, and and the way he presented himself. And and um, I'd class him as a as a friend and a colleague uh, for the future. Uh, I've always enjoyed your company, Martin, so, yeah, really do appreciate it. Um, Dave, um, look, you and I are the two old dogs still left in the pen that are walking out of here. Um, 
I'd probably say, day if I I'm just reflecting back on our old RTC days, if I go back, probably even before Future Proof was a thing, you know, and the fact that we didn't always see eye to eye, but we were both representing different constituencies and we were trying to do the best we could for what we actually had and trying to do. So I've really enjoyed working with Dave and uh, I just want to wish uh, him um, and Jane all the best down in Dunedin and, um, you know, don't be a stranger because I, once again, have enjoyed working with you. Don't always agree. As you don't always agree with me, but then again, that's what politics is about. So, yeah, really, really have enjoyed that. Um, yeah, look, it's interesting, and I think you touched on it, Bill. Um, we started off with Future Proof for the sole purpose of land use planning to get confidence from the Crown to attract money mm -hmm. for the expressway, and and, that, and that's exactly what I said at the launch of uh, or the opening of the last section of the expressway. And you know, it, it was interesting. We battled and battled, and part of my role. Back then, um, uh, when I was head of infrastructure for uh, Waikato District, was Peter Harris kept banging away at me and says, uh, it's your job to go and get the expressway. And I said, oh, Christ, how am I going to do that? But I, I, I soon learnt over time that uh, from certain people that we weren't going to achieve it just by knocking on doors. We needed to do some work. And, and I think the work that was done and where we started with Future Proof to where we ended up, or not ended, we haven't ended up, to where we are today, is, is how it's shifted and what its focus is now compared to what it was back then. We've achieved the roading, most of it, and Dave's dead right, Southern Links is a, a piece of that puzzle that you can never find if you're into making doing puzzles. Um, it, it's not there and it does impact on the traffic flow in the southern part of the city and, and our district as well. So if it was there, there would be a, a different feel to that whole southern area. Um, but all in all, I think uh, to, to uh, moving away from um, getting the expressway to now looking at how do we house people uh, around affordable housing and a, and a whole lot of things, uh, not just land use planning. And, and the fact that councils now uh, have gone through a process uh, in the uh, review around boundaryless planning, now you just can't get better than that. We, we put aside all our differences around, no matter what they are, um, as Margaret Devlin used to say, you jokers just leave all your guns at the door and just come in and play in the sandpit properly. And um, and so we've done that, I think, and I think part of that process very much showed the relationship. I'm just looking at Paula up there and 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 the close relationship personally her and I have as friends and and, and that sort of helps with that whole relationship with, with the council across the board, the same as with Jim. We all are, are wanting to do the best thing, not only for our own district, but we recognise the fact um, the sheer size of the three of us in relation to the population we represent, that we've got to do the right thing for the right reason and, and just put differences aside. And I think we've um, we've achieved that very, very well. And for me, it's been great. And um, I reflect on some of the people around. Yeah, Ken uh, mm. was, a, yeah, he was the old dog around. He was another one. I uh, was around. Um, yeah, Doug Arcus. And I still remember Doug used to referee the match between Hamilton and Waikato. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, and it, and it was refereeing. And I think that's what, that's what you said. I don't play football anymore. I'm out of town. And he left. <laughs> but, you know, all that stuff's actually moved on. But, you know, there's a saying that I use. I'm only as good as the people around me. And I'm supported by great staff. And, I'm, and I look at across the team here, whether you work for me or not, I have a lot to do with Blair. Uh, and many roles for him um, and and uh, Mark over there and others. And, and I've just, as politicians, we can sit here and blow our trumpets all day long, but we're only as good as those people that actually help us to actually sing that song that we get up and chirp out quite freely around what we, we plan to achieve in that. So I just want to acknowledge all the staff that have been involved in Future Proof over the last um, 13 years and those that are here with us with the, uh, the review, those that write our reports the same as today and energy that they put in and the belief in what we're trying to achieve here. So I just want to acknowledge all them because um, I think it's important. To the new boy back on the block, Robert, <laughs> recycled <laughs> and back again. <laughs> Welcome back, Robert. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> You've been around. <laughs> Um, yeah, great to have you back, and, and of course, it's always good to work with Bill, and it always helps because Bill's neighbour was my brother-in-law, so there was always a banter about, <laughs> where's the brother-in-law, I can tell you, he's over in, uh, was it Melbourne, I think, for, for his daughter's wedding? This Gold week. Coast. Yeah, Gold Coast, that's where it is, yeah. So, um, yeah, absolutely fantastic. It, it's been great, great to work with you all.
leave it at that. Okay. Oh. And great to work with Wakatahi, with David too. And I think back to Harry Wilson's day, and I said that, because you weren't there for the opening, were you, David? No. So, you know, working with Harry Wilson back in those days, old Harry was pretty pretty much um, pushing the mayors of Hamilton, Waipa and Waikato to get the Waikato Expressway, and he was always trying to get the next contract signed up before we'd even decided where the bloody road was going to go, just about. <laughs> but, he, but he kept us motivated and kept us yeah. moving, so that was great there. So now David has to pick up the mantle and... Getting Southern Link sorted out. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Okay. Been a blast. Thanks, Alan. Dave. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Can you put your mic on? Thanks, Dave. <laughs> yeah, they say nice things about you. They never, they never say for the rest of the <laughs> 24 years. <laughs> um, and... I don't really enjoy farewell speeches and that, that much, but I do would like to thank you, Bill and Alan, for the kind words you've said and truthful words, some of them not quite so kind. <laughs> <laughs> Though I do remember when you talked about not being able to say no or something like that, Bill, in my first term on council, one of our senior managers got very frustrated with me taking the side of res some residents against the management and she, she said in exasperation, Dave, don't you know how to say no? And I said, I can't even spell the word. <laughs> <laughs> and I've tried to keep true to that since. <laughs> uh, um, and there's, I understand there's no truth, as far as I know anyway, that Waka Kota here have warned Dunedin that I'm heading down there. <laughs> <laughs> but I do understand there's a move to get a train going from <laughs> Dunedin to Christchurch. <laughs> ah, so I'm going to offer my help. <laughs> Look, um, I think the stage that Future Proof's at now in this whole sub-region is that the big picture plans are now in place, um, the challenges to implement them, and that's going to need a hell of a lot of money and joined up decision-making, not just thinking by the uh, partner councils and agencies, and that's going to be the, the real struggle in the, year, the years coming in the near future. Um, this Future Proof area is actually, when you conglomerate it, is growing faster as an area than any other part of the country in terms of population, in terms of industrial growth, in terms of sort of the spread of settlement, things like that. On a proportional basis, it's certainly faster than elsewhere. We need to get uh, into the minds of the people in Wellington that that's the case. They just think because we're not as big as Auckland or Wellington and we, uh, that we're not as important, but they'll find to their detriment um, that uh, that's a, that causes problems if they don't really take on board what this area, um, wh where this is heading. Look, finally, um, I'd like to say I agree with the comments that Alan made about staff. Um, we do sit here talking and occasionally get the headlines, uh, but it's the staff that have done the work to give us the ammunition for the headlines, let's say. Um, I've enjoyed my time both on Future Brief and all the other regional activities. It's better than being stuck in your own small patch, um, being able to learn and uh, learn from and learn about the um, wider um, area that we're talking about, the whole of the Waikato for that matter, not just the future proof area. So thanks very much. Thanks, Dave. Martin. Me? Oh, okay. Let's have the first say, Paul, you can definitely have the last. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I, um, I, this is this is the this is the moment where the person who's purely a bit player, you know, who has a walk on path, a bit like uh, member Forrest Gump, uh, you know, has walks on past these amazing uh, people. And I, I just want to, uh, first of all, uh, Bill, I want to, you know, to you and the team for your chairpersonship and leadership. And also, when we look at you, we look at. Uh, the work you're doing to make sure that the city across the Kaimais is going to be the truly competitor, complementary uh, city, as I said, a bit of guided democracy over there. And I <laughs> think that is actually a nice, good thing. Thanks, Matt. <laughs> um, but, you know, the team around you, all of you, you know, collectively, and just the, and in my sort of days as MP, working with ministers and that, uh, is, is the joining of advocacy. And I think in Bay is in some ways quite a bit of a role model of that years ago, where the mayors were, you know, are joined at the hip as they are here, and also evidence-based stuff for the officials in Wellington. I, I just want to also assure that if uh, Councillor Beck is elected the mayor of Waikato, 
then I will emotionally hold out the white flag about Tamahiri, <laughs> move on through my grief and concede that there's not everything in life you have to gain. You know, there are battles you yeah. lose and, and go to better places. But I just want to just, if I may, um, you know, I mean, I've observed over the years and I just, and this is no uh, bull dust, and I, I just absolutely acknowledge uh, the partnership with Deputy Mayor Cashmore and his incredible friendship, you know, because that, that relationship, because the, the, you know, this is absolutely about our relationship to Metro Auckland and Bill and Phil in Auckland have played a really key role in that. And I, I've honestly observed that um, and I thank him for that. But uh, two giants who have actually just spoken, and it's probably the only time they're going to be spoken, and as Dave Max said, you know, it's like a funeral thing to say all these good things. <laughs> but uh, Alan and Dave, I think, have actually been, if you look at a, a political Grunt work over the years because future proof is absolutely a key component of this area. Uh, it is future generations, literally. Uh, it is for the grandkids. It is, you know, mm. I think it, it's one of the region, the sub regional partnerships, which is, from my observation over the years, has been absolutely crucial. But I, I actually just think the hard graph these two have done politically, and I actually cite them as the political odd couple because. They are a little bit different, uh, but I have to tell you that um, Nanaya Mamahuta, if she was ever to write to me, would say, sadly, I'm not looking at them for any diplomatic posts overseas because uh, diplomacy is not in their skill set. Uh, so I'll leave it there. But, you know, I, th I think genuinely, and, I, you know, I'm an observer, and I think, Bill, you would agree with me, in terms of that sort of real minutiae and the real hard graft, these two in, 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 in complementing different ways have really done that. So that's a big lesson, legacy. And now, of course, of course, I now defer to her worship, the mayor. Well, just before we go yeah. to Mayor Paula, I was just going to provide an opportunity. I presume Bill Cashmore's still on the line? Yes, I am, Mr Chair. Yep, in terms of any, like, any words of wids, wisdom you'd like to pass on, Bill? <laughs> well, I've only got one brain cell left, and so the words <laughs> of wisdom are pretty hard to find. But I'd like to wish all those who have been partaking uh, in this most worthwhile piece of strategic planning all the best who are standing again. For those of us who are standing down and retiring, I wish you and uh, your next phases of life all the very best as well. This is an important piece of work. This golden triangle area is going to be strategically the most important area for this country for the foreseeable future. And I congratulate the politicians, but particularly the staff, who have collected the data, come up with the plans and the concepts and the ideas, but be flexible enough to change and alter them as things have moved about. So all the very best to everyone. It's been a privilege to be a part of it. I'm sorry I haven't been around the table as much this past term as I would like to have been, but um, the little thing called COVID put on a few challenges for us all. All the very best for those carrying on. I look forward to watching your work from a distance. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Bill. Ash and Neil, anything you'd like to finish off with? Uh, no, just look, uh, really great that we're back around the table. You know, really good. Um, you know, Neil and I have always been a fan of it, but you know, you get involved in so many different committees and groups and this and that that you're paying funds to. So you've got a partners and but uh, one's probably going to benefit you more. Um, obviously, with Morrinsville's growth, we've got huge growth in Morrinsville now, and there's quite a synergy with Hamilton. We, with, um, work is uh, going both ways, from Hamilton out to Morrinsville, and obviously Morrinsville going into Hamilton. So, um, yeah, look, great, great to be there. Uh, just any word of advice around any committees and that, you know, thinking of, and, and even, you know, the, um, uh, making any decisions is to think about the consequences of what you're thinking. Sometimes I want to fix it. When people make decisions, feel good. Make them instead of doing the practical. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, Ash. Neil. Okay, no, thank you. Well, now, Mia Paula. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky last. Which means I can say anything, can I, without fear of right of reply? <laughs> no. So, um, I'm not going to match um, the words of others, and I'm certainly not going to match um, Councillor Martin's um, quick wit, which for which he is well known 
Um, but what I would like to co comment on, first of all, just in the broad to say thank you to everybody who is standing down, who we have worked with. It's been an absolute pleasure. We go back a long way, many of us. Uh, Alan, Dave, Martin, um, we go back a long way. Um, and many of you others in the room as well. We've been involved in this future-proof journey since it was first drafted, and, and, and to some extent, at least, uh, at least I have. Um, but I do want to acknowledge what you have said about um, Dave being a fierce and tenacious advocate and warrior for the best interests of Hamilton within the future-proof context. And um, he has done a superb job in Future Proof for um, being the unrelenting voice, making keeping um, government honest, and also um, shaping our own strategic growth committee and making sure at, back at council, at our council, that what we're doing in this arena is well understood and links with the work we're doing there. Martin has been a huge help, also sitting on the Waikato plan, and for as long as I can remember. Martin has um, had a focus on this broader issue of well-being across the future proof that he knows that the city's boundaries are just lines on a map and understands quite acutely, hence his interest in Tamahiri, no doubt, that um, th th those lines on a map are not, are not relevant when it comes to putting the well-being of people and building future infrastructure. So, um, yeah, Dave, Dave's going to find it difficult in the next week because people are going to say lots of really positive things about him. And um, he's he's used to used to that to some extent, but he's also used to people um, uh, being challenged by his abruptness and directness to get things done. But I see that as a strength, and so I do want to thank Dave for his work. I want to thank Martin for his work. Alan and I go back a long way too. And um, whenever there's been a difficulty, we've been able to pick up the phone and be quite honest with each other. And actually, the good thing is you don't always agree with people. And Alan and I are friends now, which is a good sign because it means that we've operated with respect and care. But we don't always agree on every last aspect of work. But we sit down, we work it out, we talk it out. I do want to just note also thanks to Alan for his role in the mayoral forum because, you know, no, no strategic um, project is unique. It's often overlapped and interwoven. And so having voices across those many platforms is so vital. I know, Alan, that we're going to continue to be friends, so it's not it's not um, adieu, it's um, see you soon. So that's really cool. Um, Ash, just to let you know, I think that um, I've enjoyed working with you and getting to know you. We um, spent a bit of time together at the conference, and I wish you the very best in your future role, uh, whatever you are doing in Morrinsville, going back to your main work. I'm not sure, but I do wish you the very best with your family and hope you get some good time to rest and relax as well because politics as we all know can be pretty unrelenting. Bill, oh goodness, how long have we known each other? Quite a while. And so all the very best speak to you also. Um, uh, yeah, you're right. This last three years has really sort of rolled as a, a bad a bad roll of the dice really. But despite that, look how far we've come. And all credit to us as a team that we have senior ministers like Wood, Woods, Mahuta, and um, uh, others from time to time sitting in our strategic growth committee. And I can tell you when I raised that with other councillors as I did with other councils, as I did just recently at the Affordable Housing Summit, that's not common. That is just not the norm. It's more of an exception to the rule. So I think that says testimony to how well this works. And so, Bill, just want to shout out to you too, because uh, obviously you're not leaving us, and hopefully I'm not leaving, but who can know? Um, I have enjoyed working with you very much um, from the very beginning. Uh, I can't see who, all who's in the room, but I see Robert also sitting next to you and acknowledge that Robert held the pen for the very early stages when he was on regional council, that is, as... as um, General Manager of Policy he held a pen for some of the um, very early iterations of Future Proof. But um, everyone else around the table, council, council staff, Blair and team, and the, and the chief executives of the other councils, thank you very much. It's been actually a pleasure to work in this, even though we're pretty feisty with the issues, we're a collegial and effective unit. 
So all the best. I hope um, some of you are going to get a chance to maybe go for a beer with each other. I've got another event, so I can't join you. But I do want to wish you all the very best and just big heartfelt thanks to you all. Thanks, Paula. Any other comments from members around the table? Excellent. Yeah, I, I guess it's hard not, not to make a comment when you just reflect on the... Um, uh, reflect on the uh, the experience that's walking out of the room. So, you know, as someone who's who is putting their hand up, you know, I guess I'm looking forwards rather than backwards to that extent. Um, and um, you know, it's it's actually hard to, to to underestimate the value of the experience and the work coming out the door around this time. But Hey, who can blame you? It's a terrible job. I think, Bill, you've done the ultimate hack. You know, you've worked out how to have all the power, reasonable pay and conditions, <laughs> and put up with none of the rubbish. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, just my hat off to, um, you know, it is a terrible job, isn't it? I mean, why would anyone do this, honestly? Um, and, Richard, thank you. You've made us all Three Waters ambassadors. That's the first, second, and the third question we get now in any the candidate <laughs> session. Um, but you, you guys have done it. You know, you've actually done the hard yards. You know, the, the, your commitment to, your passion for the communities we serve has, has made you rise above you know, all of the stuff that came, that came with this job. And here we are putting up those that are putting up their hands. You know, we'll be told what our job description is in October after we get elected, you know, when the local government, um, reform the local government. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's insane, isn't it? So yeah, really take some pride, guys. I know I know you. Yeah, uh, the, the praises are being heaped, but it's it's sincerely uh, felt. The sacrifice is really significant. Many decades, you know, across the the group that's departing, and uh, and I guess on on behalf of uh, communities generally, um, who will never say it because they don't see it. Uh, a big big thank you. Thanks, Axel. Um, I'll just skip, there's a couple of notes on chat I'd just ask Jess to read out for members. Uh, from Councillor Hodge, uh, Aroha mai koutou, she had to leave. Uh, Bill, Allen, Dave and Ash, take care, enjoy your retirement from local government. Those who are restanding, Barry, Axel, Pamela, Paula, good luck, hope to see you all next term, enjoy your weekend. And from Andrew Baker, um, head to leave. Enjoy the cup of tea afterwards all in the Tron. Very good. Thank you. And for those online, um, sorry, um, you can't join us for that cup of tea, which we're about to go and enjoy in a few minutes' time. So um, thank you, everyone. As has been noted, best wishes to those who are standing again. And I look forward to seeing um, those um, who are successful around this table at a date yet to be advised. So thanks very much. And I declare the meeting closed. Thank you.